Well, the interesting thing with implementing change or the process for change is, first of all, because employees are somewhat skeptical, skeptical if you will, about the likelihood of this change success, you have to build in some what we call quick hits or quick wins. So the first thing I like to do is make sure that you've got some representatives from the impacted departments or areas, that the change is not just being driven from above, if you will, that you've got a, a representative change team that really reflects the different interests and needs of those groups being asked to accept the change. Commensurate with that or in conjunction with that, you want to make sure that you've you've also really explained to people the rationale for change, sort of the, uh, the, uh, the urgency and, and why we need it in the first place. We often call that the burning platform. You want to uh, also make sure that you're celebrating the successes. So as you start moving forward in change, if we've had a win, then let's let people know. And that helps reduce the cynicism, in other words, what happens for people is they say, my goodness, it really is working, we are getting results. And then the last thing you want to do in change is ensure that you can sustain it. And the best way to sustain it is to ensure that your systems, your pay systems, measurement systems, performance systems, all of that, that people are being rewarded for those things you're asking them to embrace in the change.